Hello Internet, I am Christopher Chaos and this is my iPhone show, the show that is recorded completely by using my iPhone and we're going to finish off this Wednesday, June 16th by talking about some of the news ending uh, today and everything. As reported earlier on my last video, I was talking about a lot of the uh, uh, iPhones in a lot of other countries sold out and the AT&T website temporarily not allowing pre-orders anymore. Well, actually, uh, at, when I posted it, this, this news was out, but I didn't know it at the time. But uh, actually, the first round of iPhones are actually sold out. So anybody ordering their iPhones after noonish on Tuesday are actually receiving the second round or third round of the shipments and stuff like that. So those people who ordered it before noon on Tuesday are getting the first rounds that were all sold out and everything. And they are still projected supposedly to get their iPhones on the 24th of, uh, of this month. But however, the other shipments that are after the or pre-orders of Tuesday's uh, noonish time frame or whatever are not going to receive their iPhones until probably around July 2nd to July 14th. So it's a, it's a big difference between the, uh, the June 24th release date if you pre-ordered your iPhone after that time. Now if you still have not pre-ordered your iPhone, you might almost be better off just trying to hit up one of those stores, one of the five retail stores actually, that will be selling the iPhone 4 on the uh, June 24th release date. Now of course two of them are jam-packed. That's AT&T's uh, stores and Apple's stores. Those places are probably going to be really packed. You're going to have to stand some humongous line most likely and not even still be guaranteed to be able to get one of the ones that they have in stock that are going to be available for, um, for sales. Uh, the other ones are uh, Radio Shack, Best Buy, and Walmart. Now, probably Walmart should be, might be pretty easy to get into. I, I don't see a whole lot of people crowding into Walmart to try to get the iPhone 4. Um, Radio Shack should be pretty easy as well, I would think. But I'm sure Best Buy is still going to be pretty crowded. Probably not as crowded, of course, as the Apple Store or the AT&T Store. But it's still uh, a good little, good little time to have to wait and everything. So consider your options if you're still wanting to get the iPhone 4 and have not pre-ordered it yet. Um, but otherwise, that's about it for this Wednesday. Um, any more news comes up, I'll try to report about it. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys later. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Or actually, it's not rate anymore. It's a thumbs up. And um, also, I'm going to set up a, a, a Ustream Live page for my iPhone show. And then uh, hopefully on June 24th, when my iPhone shows up, maybe I'll do a live stream um, of me opening up the package and checking out the inside of it. And then I'll activate it and maybe play around with it a little bit. But um, we'll see from there. But anyways, uh, check you guys later. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want. And um, subscribe and all that stuff I talked about before. Anyways, see you guys.